Hi, my name is Penny Eggers, and I created this video to educate the general public on the importance of youth in agriculture through programs such as 4-H and FFA, and the impact that is made by supporting them at the Sacramento County Fair Junior Livestock Auction. is my rabbit Max. Max is, is the first rabbit I ever got and he's the reason I began going to the county fair. Have you ever gone to the county fair? If you have, you've probably seen the big barn in the back of the fair. And if you've been in the, in the barn, you know that it's the animal barn. The animal barn is exactly what it sounds like. It's a big barn, a loud barn to be specific, full of livestock animals such as cows, sheep, goats, rabbits, pigs, guinea pigs, and poultry such as chickens, turkeys, and ducks. Did you know that the animals in that barn belong to youth exhibitors who are affiliated with programs such as 4-H and FFA? What exactly is 4-H and FFA, you may ask? 4-H and FFA are both organizations that give young people the opportunity to learn about agriculture and gain skills that help meet the challenges of their communities. Um, as a County 4-H leader and volunteer for the Sacramento County Fair, we see firsthand how important these programs such as 4-H and FFA are for our young people in order to learn to see the bigger picture of how they can fit in our community. If we didn't have programs such as 4-H and FFA, then the continuum between agriculture, education, and the viable future in agriculture in America would be vulnerable. Forage participation in our county has slowly declined over the past decade because there's just simply too much competition from other programs and activities. So getting the word out that we are still here and that we still have lots of programs is key to avoiding this decline because 4-H is really important for preparing young people with a strong foundation of knowledge, skills, and experience for a future in agriculture, STEM, and beyond. So why do these program members bring their animals to the county fair. Well, there's a variety of reasons why youth members such as myself would want to bring their animals to the fair. For one, it allows you to show your animal in a breeding or market show. A breeding show exhibits how the youth member worked hard to cultivate their breed to a standard. A mark and a market show exhibits how the youth member worked hard to prepare their animal for market. Additionally, youth members participate in showmanship, which allows them to demonstrate their skills as a showman with their animal. Lastly, exhibitors with market animals who've been deemed market ready will sell their animal at the Junior Livestock Auction, which is supported by the general public and local or regional businesses. There's James. Tell me, come here. How you doing, buddy? Did a good job here. How about another give me five? I ain't many, 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 five hundred. I ain't many, 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 five. I'm gonna give five. I ain't gonna be five hundred. I'm gonna be five. What do you think? Three. I ain't many, 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 three. Hey, old Wayne Heggers, right here, Badger Creek. 795 is the number. Tell me, we're gonna get here. 500. Yeah. Hey, mini, mini, five hands. I get to be 500. Hey. One of the biggest reasons youth members choose to participate in the GLA is for the unique experience it provides. Part of the experience includes funding their project and future projects, or contributing to their college fund, which helps empower these young people to make significant contributions to agriculture in their communities. 17, gotta go. 18, 19, walk it out of here. 18, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19
Proposals over the last couple of decades have jeopardized the funding for programs such as 4-H and FFA. Despite these setbacks, youth members have pushed forward to fund their future and the future of agriculture in America. The future of agriculture. Um, the demographics of rural America have really been changing as urbanization spreads into our rural farming areas. And the Sacramento Valley has seen major growth over the last decade. And we need to be cognizant of how this affects our rural farming communities as leaders in agriculture with the farm to fork recognition that we work so hard for. Um, if we continue this trajectory, then millions of additional acres of farmland will be lost fragmented or compromised by 2040, not just in California, but nationwide. Mike, ladies and gentlemen, give Mike Albioni, the president of our Fair Board of round of applause. I also want to recognize, because these are thankless appointments when it comes to uh, being on the Fair Board, and we appreciate all they've done to keep the Sacramento County Fair moving forward. I know it's been a great year attendance-wise. The weather has blessed us this week. But Kobe Turner's the director, Arturo Barajas, Evan Corridor, Serena Correa, The hardest part in FFA and 4-H for the JLA, it's not an easy topic to talk about, but it's often referred to as ringside tears. And this experience helps build character. It develops empathy and creates an understanding of an unconditional positive regard that is hard to grasp unless you experience it. What's the hardest part about selling your animal at the junior livestock auction? The answer to this question will vary from person to person. For me, the hardest part about selling my animal at the GLA is the personal connection that I made with that animal. So knowing that all my hard work is coming to an end as I prepare to say goodbye. Although bittersweet, I know that my appreciation for these animals go beyond the experience of the auction ring. It rests in the fact that I know where my food comes from, the process that it takes to raise these animals, and in having a lifelong respect for the people in agriculture.
I am a 4 H'er, and I believe the future of agriculture starts here. Thank you for watching my documentary.